truly trust. <laughs> Today's Tell It Like It Is is about the idea of trust, <laughs> of the concept of trust. And I wonder how many of us really can grasp it. Uh, I trust the sun is going to come up tomorrow morning. I trust when I flip the switch, the light is going to come on. Uh, <laughs> last week, I trusted that when I turned the key, my car would start. And it didn't. Dead battery. And all that that led to. Whatever. So there was broken trust. But trust. But how about trust when we don't know any details? When the future, whatever the circumstances are or anything, but we don't know enough about it to be able to see the details or to verify them ahead of time that this will happen. Just like the dead battery, they don't happen. And it's happened, that kind of thing has occurred in our lives. And so I don't know if I can trust this or not. I'm not sure, right? I have to tell you, <laughs> that is actually what trust is. Trust isn't simply, I know the sun will come up tomorrow morning. I know that when I flip the switch, this light will come on. Trust is when we're in a place where we don't know the circumstances. We don't know the next thing. Now, well, for several days, I think I'm at the place where I can trust it when I turn the key again. <laughs> But I spent a whole day trying to get that battery situation sorted out. And then I was mm, very cautious. I didn't know. Is it drained? Is there a problem? Is this battery is not good as the first one I purchased? Is what well, I don't know. And I could not trust it. I didn't trust it. And it's even still a little tentative a week later. Trust. So. Truly trust. To truly trust God, that when we're faced, I'll talk about myself, when I'm faced with the future, with the unknown, I'm not talking about five years from now or 10 years from now or two years from now or next year or next month. I'm talking about today. I don't know what today holds. Well, I don't know. Isn't it? Well, trust, true trust is based on a person, not on the circumstances, not on my knowledge, not on my awareness, not on my experiences in the past. Whenever I've turned that key, the car has always started. So what's the issue? Well, maybe a few times it's been a dead battery, but not today. Ah! To truly trust in spite of all the changes that are going on, about the things that we thought we knew that we don't know at all. Technology, for one. How do I go forward one foot in front of the other when I'm confronted, as I have been recently, with nothing that's the way it has been? Because I'm not trusting in those things. And I've taken the time to verify that. I do not because I cannot. They aren't trustworthy. Only God is trustworthy. Only God is not changing. His love for me doesn't change. His power to take care of me doesn't change. His intention of goodness for me in my life doesn't shift at all. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. <laughs> I'm talking about trust today. True trust. Truly trust. How do I live in any level of trust in the world today? Honestly, I can't. I don't know. Whatever you're building your trust on. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Whatever you're building your trust on. <laughs> fine. But I know me. I can't cross that bridge if I can't trust the ropes or the boards or the wiggle or the wind or what. I, I can't do it. And, and I'm confronted with that a lot lately. So how do I go forward? It's like, come on, God, help me. And that's the answer. That's the answer.
<laughs> I was just sharing that with somebody at the gym. <laughs> it's sort of like that carnival ride where you get in, it's a circle. You get in and stand against the outer wall of the circle. And the ride starts to spin and you're pressured up against the wall and it goes faster and it twirls maybe sideways and so on. And that's what life feels like to me. It's out of control and going faster and faster all the time. And so what, what, what's my ability to carry on? How do I do that? Good morning. And so... There's only one answer. I need to make my way, which isn't necessarily easy, to the post in the middle and wrap my arms around that sturdy post and hang on because I'm not going to allow that pressure and the unknown and the fast shifting and on and on and on the coercion of the fallen world. I'm not going to let that spin me out of control and throw my pieces apart. I refuse, that's the answer, to truly trust the only one, the only one, the only place, the only power, the only resource, the only that can hold me together. And that's God through Jesus. Yeah. So that's what trust is, actually. The definition of trust is to be able to carry on with confidence, no matter the circumstances, no matter the level of unknown. That's trust, truly trust. And I truly trust God. And who knows what other challenge will come today, but that's my practice, to truly trust God. The decisions I make will be the best I can make at the minute, and he is going to, you know how that verse goes, right? Um, <laughs> for I know the thoughts and plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Prosper, to develop my gifts, to allow me to see more, to serve more, to love him better and deeper. I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Hope lives in me. <laughs> that's, um, I forget it. It's Proverbs, right? <laughs> Proverbs 29, 11, 29. Anyway, there you go. That's my day. I pray it's the same for you. Thank you, Kelly, for sticking around and, and you too. Bye-bye.